So now let's see how we can use the tracing technique inside of Adobe Fresco. So to use the tracing technique, I'm just going to go around here and import out a very simple image that we'll be using for tracing. So I'm just going to go on to the photos right here, onto the files, and then on my desktop, I have this picture of an apple. So I'm just going to open that out. So this can be any drawing. So just for the example, I'm taking out a very simple artwork right here, just like this. So what I want to do is I want to use this for tracing. So I'm just going to press done after I'm done uh, selecting out the location for my picture. And then I'm going to go around and decrease the opacity of this layer just like this. And now what I want to do is I want to lock this layer in place so that I don't accidentally move it. So over here, I have my transparent la layer. So I'm just going to move this above just like this, above the apple right here, just like this. So, I'm not, uh, so now I'm going to just trace it out. So to trace it out, I'm going to choose the color of my choice, which is going to be red in this case. And then I'm going to go around and choose a normal brush right here. So I'm just going to go uh, choose a normal brush, a basic brush and something like this, a hard round brush. That's it. I don't want to uh, be very fancy right from the beginning. So I'm just going to go around and see how big that is. So that brush is really big. So I'm just going to go around and then change this uh, to a smaller brush, just like this, about yay big, just like this. And then you simply draw around just like that, as you can see over here. You just draw around over here and that is how it works. But it is not smoothing out. So I want it to be smoothened out as well. So I'm going to increase the smoothing out because my hand is not really very smooth in drawing. And you can see that it is much more smoother now while you're drawing it. So I'm just going to go around and then trace it around just like this. All right, here, I'm tracing it around, tracing the apple around over here. And then just go around over here, just like this. And then that's it. I just end and close out the shape just like that. I'm going to create a new layer right here, which is which will be for the stem. So I'm just going to go around and then over here, I'm going to choose something like a brownish color for this one and then just make out the stem right here. So that is going to be the stem. I can bring down the layer as well, just like this. I can rearrange out the layer to make it in a different place. I'm going to uh, also create a new layer for the leaf right here. So I'm just going to go around on to green color now, just like this and then trace around right here. So just trace around just like this and there you go. All right. So this is what I have as a trace. So now I'm just going to bring down the leaf as well. So it's beneath the stem right here. So now what I can use is I can use color fill to actually fill it out right here. So this is like a group. So I uh, ungroup layers. I accidentally grouped it. I'm just going to select it out and then over here, fill it out. So I'm just going to increase up the threshold for the fill settings right here. So that, that's how you fill it a bit more, just like this. And that's it. No, a bit more again. Okay, 212. All right, so that is that looks good. So for this one, I'm just going to go around with the color picker right here. Take this color just like this and then get the fill and fill it out as well. So now I have a traced out image. Now I want to make it look artistic. So I'm just going to go around onto watercolor right here. And then I'm going to go around into uh, watercolor itself, get the second brush right here, and I'm going to decrease out the opacity. So now on the sides, I'm just going to go around and then work around just like this, as you can see right here. But that is not really giving out much effect. So I'm just going to go around over here, go around with the oil paint right here. That may be much more better. So I'm just going to go around forward, everything is filled out right here. That's it. And I'm just going to go around into not watercolor, but oil color, because I want it to be more oily like. So I'm just going to go around and give it a bit, a bit of detail just like that. So just going to increase out the, de uh, the size of the oil paint right here, just like this. And that is how you work around with it, as you can see right here. So now it looks much more like an oil paint right here. So just like this on the side, just like that. And then it looks a bit more like an oil paint over here, just like this. All right, on the side as well, right? There you go, give it some detail right here. So that is how you can uh, take it from tracing to an oil paint like look just like that.
All right, so let's go around over here. And there you go, there you go. A bit of an artsy detail. Same goes for the stem as well. So I'm just going to go around with the stem, just like that. And then this one as well, just like this. So you're adding in a bit of detail over there, just like that. You can also go around into watercolor over here. Let's say, for example, watercolor, get this. And I'm going to take this as a sample right here. And I'm going to change out the shade a bit, just like this. And then maybe paint around over here with the watercolor. So on the top, I'm just going to go around over here and then paint around just like that. And you can see that there's a sort of and a highlight going on right over there. I'm just going to increase this around as well, just like this and go around over here just like that you can add in the highlight according to what you like that is looking too ugly so i'm just going to go back just like that and then change around the color a bit closer just like that and just add in this kind of a highlight right here just like that just like that as well over here as well and the watercolor just mixes in just like that and you can make uh, any object like uh, you can take anything to trace and then turn it into an artwork like this as you can see right here so you can just go around over here and then mix it out with other colors as well so just go around to something like this color right here add around a bit just like that and that is how you can add in let's say for example some level of detail onto your existing artworks just gonna go around over here as well onto this color just like that and then go around over here uh, get out the artwork just like this i'm just going to go around onto the press and then just choose another color a bit of bright color right here just like that and that is how it goes so that is how you can trace out uh, uh, the uh, trace out any artwork inside of adobe fresco so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe